Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Navinish and you are watching Navinish Art. And this is Learn Anything Anywhere. Today is 21st of October and let's watch today's three smart words for your fluent conversation in English along with idioms and one word for the day. So, the first word for the day is comprehensive. It is used as an adjective. The pronunciation link is available in the description. The meaning is including or dealing with all or nearly all elements or aspects of something. So, having a lot of knowledge. For example, if you want to say that you read a book which has everything, you can use a smart word and say, one very clever and comprehensive handbook is available. Or if you want to ask someone to give a detailed explanation about a program, you can say, I want a very comprehensive explanation of this plan. Let's look at a few more examples. The computer comes with a comprehensive owner's manual. We offer our customers a comprehensive range of financial products. She has a comprehensive grasp of the subject. Second smart of the word or second smart word for the day is conservative. It is used as an adjective. The pronunciation link is available in the description. The meaning is hesitant to change or innovation and holding traditional values. So, for example, if you talk about your parents nowadays and they hold their traditional values, you can say, old people or my parents are usually more conservative than young people. Or if someone is of old belief and not okay to change his belief about anything or about something, you can say, he is very conservative in his attitude to women. Let's look at a few more examples. She is conservative in the way she dresses. So she is old fashioned or she doesn't want to make any changes. Older people tend to be quiet conservative about marriages. She takes basically a conservative view of society. Third smart word for the day is contemporary or contemporary. It is used as an adjective. Please check the pronunciation of this word. Uh, the meaning is belonging to or occurring in the present. So basically it's opposite of uh, conservative. So for example, if you want to talk about or compare anything with the current time or situation, you can use a smart word and say, he is a contemporary writer. So if you're talking about a writer who talks about today's situation or today's time you can say he is a contemporary writer or another situation wherein if you have seen someone using recent documents to research a book or something you can say she used only strictly contemporary documents to research the book let's look at few examples she used only strictly contemporary documents to research the book so the same example his work is very contemporary. That means his work is uh, compared to today's time or today's situation. She writes a lot of contemporary music for people like Whitney Houston. So these were today's smart words. Now let's look at today's idiom. Today's idiom is interesting. It's last straw. The meaning is uh, the final act before you lose patience or uh, to be the last in a sequence of unpleasant things. Or you can also say to be the last uh, toler tolerable thing after which something cannot be accepted. How we can use it? For example, if you or someone does something at the last minute, you can say it is sad to see that people always wait until the last straw before they start to take any action. Or another example, this is related to a relationship. 
The last straw in their relationship was when he physically abused her. She walked out after that. So that was the idiom for today. Let's look at today's word of the day. It's an interesting graphic. Today's uh, word for the day is visage. Okay, It is used as a noun. The pronunciation link is available in the description. Please check the pronunciation for this word because there are two different pronunciations. Uh, the meaning is a person's facial expression. Example, she has a smiling visage. Another example, his entire visage is bright and cheerful. So, this was today's video. I hope you liked it. Please like, share, subscribe and comment. And if you're watching this video or visiting this channel for the first time, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Make sure to share this video with your friends, families who want to improve their English. Once again, thank you for your love and support. And let's look at milestones today. Oh, let's look at my milestones today. Okay, there is something interesting. 10 subscribers increased and I am really happy about that. However, I need 30 more subscribers to reach 1500. Okay, so I would require your help to do that. Views are increasing, which is good. Uh, I require 3686 views to reach 20,000. And uh, with this, uh, I will have to upload more four videos to reach 80 and that will happen. That's not an issue. So that's the bird. And once again, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon. Like my videos. Thank you so much for watching this video.